fibrosis is a rare condition. It affects 70,000 people worldwide and 29,000 European patients. Treating lung infection in cystic fibrosis is critical because sadly, the majority of patients with cystic fibrosis die early from lung infection. C'est une maladie génétique. Donc ça veut dire qu'elle est transmise en fait par les parents. L'enfant reçoit une un gène malade, un gène qui porte une mutation de chacun des parents et ça va entraîner deux atteintes essentiellement, une atteinte digestive et une atteinte respiratoire. Their mucus in their lungs is sticky. And so by the time they are small children, they're often infected with bacteria in their lungs. And these bacteria we know from studies that they persist for years and years. All of us carry bugs on our skin, in our bile, in our lungs, uh, but this is uh, in uh, a good balance. Uh, we often call this in a, a symbiotic relationship. However, this all goes wrong in different diseases and the community shift and the bugs change and we think that this drives disease. Bis vor einigen Jahren dachte man, dass es da um, sich um einzelne Bakterien handelt, wie zum Beispiel Pseudomonas. Seit einigen Jahren weiß man aber, dass es durchaus eine ganze Reihe von Bakterien gibt, die dort in Gemeinschaften leben. Davon redet man heute, das bezeichnet man heute als Mikrobiom. So CF Matters is a multi-center study and it involves nine clinical sites between Ireland, the United Kingdom, Europe and North America. It's adopting a novel approach to identifying the bacteria that cause the infection in the lung. Over the last five to ten years we've learned that um, our methodologies for culturing sputum are inadequate to capture all the bacteria that are there. And it turns out if we look for bits of uh, RNA in the sputum of bacteria, we can find lots of bacteria we never cultured. Et donc la question de l'essai clinique, c'était de se dire, est-ce que ces autres bactéries, il faut les traiter ou non Est-ce que si on les traite, ça va améliorer l'état euh, respiratoire des patients Kann man diese Antibiotika gezielter einsetzen, ja, um die krankheitsverursachenden Bakterien spezifischer abzutöten, die normale bakterielle Flora möglichst zu erhalten und zum anderen auch, um die Entwicklung von Resistenzen der Bakterien ähm, zu verhindern, die ähm, dann eben mit dem Problem einhergehen, dass an bestimmte Antibiotika langfristig ähm, nicht mehr wirksam sind. Und so l'essai c'était on va prendre les expectorations, analyser ce qu'on appelle le microbiome et ensuite quand le patient va avoir besoin d'antibiotiques, on va traiter soit de manière habituelle avec les antibiotiques qui traitent uniquement le pseudomonas aeruginosa ou bien par tirage au sort, on va traiter des, avec des antibiotiques qui visent aussi le reste des bactéries qu'on a identifiées donc ce microbiome et voir si ben, dans le temps les patients qui ont eu un traitement visant le microbiome vont aller mieux. And how about your wheat? My group in Belfast are involved in doing the uh, in-depth DNA analysis of the sputum samples that are generated uh, in CF Matters. And we've been creating new um, mouse models. Never before have people looked at the co-infections and taking the different elements of the microbiome together with the pathogen and putting them all into the model and seeing how that changes the responses. We know that antibiotics can cause problems in the CF gut as well, and so CF Matters is looking at the emergence of potential bacteria in the gut that could infect the lung, and also looking at manners in which we can decrease the antibiotic side effects, uh, such as diarrhea and abdominal cramps. We hope that this work will allow us to develop potential CF-specific probiotics, which may uh, help patients in the recovery period post-antibiotics and uh, potentially even improve their lung health. At this point in time, uh, CF Matters has enrolled 227 patients, of whom 107 of those patients have completed uh, significant data points for a meaningful analysis. That said, we realize that it's important that we have a complete data set to inform us as to whether or not this technology uh, is useful. So we are looking forward, as of the 1st of July 2017, to roll over the study. 
CF matters may revolutionise how we prescribe antibiotics. If we see that using a microbiome approach is associated with better outcomes, then this may change our day-to-day -day clinical approach to treating infections.